This is Bill Kelleher from the band Mastodon, and you're watching Bloodstock TV. Okay, next up on Bloodstock TV, we are talking to Brujo from Brujeria. How are you, my friend? Muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> oh, my Spanish is terrible, I'll tell you that before we even start. Very yeah. tired, but like, we're good. Yeah, all I like, speak, I was say, un poco? Is that, like, un something? poco cansado. Oh, no, no, don't start that, no. That's <laughs> it, that's it. That. As un poco means just a little bit. Oh, know. yeah, exactly, that's, that's what I meant. That's all you know. That's it. <laughs> Okay, cool. So you guys just played on the main stage here earlier on today. Right, so right. How did that go? It's sort of a it, 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 slot. It went, you know, breakfast, you know, breakfast club metal, you know, early, and uh, it went good. I, I was, I was surprised how many people were out there watching us, and they were like into it. I mean, there's a lot of people out there when you know, it was good for us. I liked that. I didn't expect that. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, blood, we're Bloodstock. We are hardcore. You know, I'm very um, impressed at this Bloodstock uh, fest here. You know, so far it's like, it's been I've been to a lot of other ones. And there's a big one in Germany, which is like brutal lame. Yeah. And uh, and this one's better. I'd rather be here. Oh, good. That's good. Excellent. Well, that's I won't so say that name. Yeah. I won't say that name. But you guys suck. Oh, well, <laughs> the band. Yeah. yeah, that German one is looking at me. <laughs> no. Okay. All good. Um. So yeah. So uh, you guys are not really known for your touring. You only just recently started touring, despite being around for quite a long time. So what was the decision behind that? Why was that? Well, it, at first it was like uh, everybody else had the, the day job band and uh, they were never around. Everybody got gotten brewed out, right away they got famous in another band and yeah. I never see them again. So uh, they were always touring, doing work, this and that. And then after so many years, like it died down, they were had more time, more free time and, and less other, you know, other bands touring so we started touring and it just blew it up i mean we loved it yeah everywhere we went was a good time it's like you know just we just spent like i don't know, like six seven years touring at the beginning without even realizing it was that long yeah so uh then we had we made a record and all that and we want to keep going and see how long it, you know it goes as long as people are having fun with it and, you know, yeah like we are then it's, it's gonna happen yeah so you did some uh, dates in the uk earlier in the year as well yeah uh, yeah those yeah cool. so how, how do they go is it busy really, or yeah, popular it was like napalm death you know, in Brewhitty, I was like, you know, and Shane, uh, Shane Embry doing triple three, played three bands wow. on that tour. So it, it was good. It was, it was like everything we wanted. It was like action, fun, and uh, and uh, a lot of people. Yeah, Shane is Shane is just like you know metal legend in in, in, in the UK. Now. Though. He is legend. Yeah, he, I, you know, wow. So uh, it's good. Yeah. It's good. Well, even when I, I first got into metal, when I saw like 15 or 16, you know, I remember watching documentaries with uh, with Shane from from when he's in Napalm Death and interviews with him you and know, things like that because they were just, you know, he's been around a while because he, he was like pretty much part of Brood. He had like 90, 91. So yeah, it's almost since the beginning. I mean, that's a long time ago. It is. He was a baby. He was a little baby then. Yeah. So um, you guys are uh, uh, remote from each other a lot of the time, as you imagine. Yeah, the actual band members he's, and that. So. Yeah, every it's hard to get everybody together. To is do that um, does that make it hard to to write together? It's and impossible. Stuff? It's it's like uh, it, it, back in the '90s, it was insane. We did have like about two days to finish a whole record, write and everything. Cause like yeah, you know, I'm home for two days and blah blah blah. And yeah. now it's like you know, I'll email you the, a, a track and this and that. You get the email, nothing happens. It's like yeah. You know, it just sits around. It's really hard to do with everybody around with different yeah. stuff. So does technology help that nowadays? It makes it worse. Like I said, they all send you a <laughs> bunch of tracks and and you get it. Like, oh, I'll open them tomorrow. Manana. <laughs> yeah, I know that one. Yeah. My new manana. Manana. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll send it back tomorrow. And, you know, it's just like, it, it's harder, actually. It's, just, it's fun, more wasting time because it's better when you get everybody together. you got like two or three days together and you have to do it. And that's all our records were written that way. All the old ones were, were all, all have to be done right now records. So. Yeah. So um, we've spoken to quite a few uh, bands from across the water and uh, American bands this weekend, and we uh, we can't really let the political situation. Uh, <laughs> I can look at your face straight away. Oh, so uh, man. You're, uh, we're, we need to talk about the, uh, the the gentleman in the White House because oh. I know you you guys are big fans of his. Oh, you even yeah, dedicated a song he, to him on the yeah. album. Oh, we got another one coming out. I got it like it's on it's on the laptop, ready to go out now. It's like. Yeah. He's, there's so much he, he wants to get people pissed off. I guess he. I don't know what. I, I don't either. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's like on, a competition. It's, it's like it's crazy. Yeah. Sh it's crazy in the states right now. It's like nothing you could even. I, I honestly still think that at some point there's going to be an announcement to say this was a reality TV show and you were all <laughs> part of it. It's like the Truman Dude, Show. I, I'll, I'll have to go hang myself. That yeah. that'd be too much. So yeah. That's really crazy. So uh, so have you guys started on that wall yet? Because uh, you're paying for it as well, yeah. Well, I think the wall got put <laughs> behind Russia. 
And you know, now there's a little North Korean thing going on. So the wall is like way back, and yeah. the wall is all we've forgotten about. Uh, oh, I don't know. That's not gonna happen. You know, I kind of wish it was like you know, all these Russian guys wouldn't get in the way. And but uh, you know, there's all there's just a lot going on over yeah. there. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> well, there's a lot going on over here as well, but I don't know. I think you guys, uh, to, to, to coin a phrase, you trumped us on that one a little bit. I think it's uh, kind of up the stakes a little bit. Funny, with that guy. funny, funny. Yeah, that'll be the equivalent of us sort of get Simon Cowell as prime yeah, minister yeah. or something. You know, it's it's. Right, we're gonna send when he's done with the states, we'll send him over here. Oh yeah, yeah, great. No, all he'll right. have to go. He'll have to go somewhere because he can't be in the states. <laughs> he's gonna have to go somewhere. <laughs> cool. Okay, so um, yeah, we mentioned about the, uh, the the Spanish side of things a lot. Do you find that that, that, that the language barrier with the songs with the fans? Or do you get people just singing along? Is it kind of similar to Ramstein, where no one actually knows any German, they just sing along? <laughs> what the hell? Well, in the in the Latin countries, they sing along every song. Every, like I can't even hear myself. It's like everybody. Yeah. Yeah, if there was a festival this big, they'd all be singing it. Yeah. So it, it, it kind of shocks me. It's like I don't, you know, I don't know what to say. It's like, it's like yeah. they're all singing it. And in other places, they, they're, you know, they're doing the old, you know, some people know it, other ones don't. But yeah, but in the Latin countries, it's insane. I can, ima I can imagine over here in the UK, it's pretty much like La Bamba. We all just go la 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 Bamba. It's like sort of, hey, la, la, la. Macarena. It's a bit, yeah, that's, that's it. It's just cousin. Hey, like that. ma uh, Marijuana is uh, yeah. my. That's a good okay, one. so uh, we'll talk about the uh, the album. It's your first first album that you've uh, you've done in, in, in 16 years and that lot. So, right, right. so so how's it going and how's it uh, is it been well received and everything? And uh, it's been going good. I mean, this and that, you know, people talking about this and that, but like um, right now, I'm like I'm more focused on getting the Trump song. I do a whole, I have like a whole record of Trump. I, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be like a little arsenal ready to put out when certain things happen. But yeah. but yeah, I know the um, we're going to write the new ones and we're going to start doing it like in January. I mean. The, Everybody in the band's in the like. Let's keep this going. It's, right, okay. it's like working. It's, I, we're not. We're not really trying, and uh, they want to keep it going. So there's. We're going to be active. You know, the next few yeah, years. Cool. I guess. Okay, but you we'll got, be back. You've got a busy rest of the year though. You're uh, New Zealand, Australia, Japan. Yeah, first time. Oh, yeah. Wow. I, I, I can never even imagine going over there. But yeah. You know, there's a lot of brujeria. You know, ripoff bands in Japan for some reason. Okay. Okay, well, we'll let you go on to the rest right, of your interviews. Thanks Gracias. very much for talking to us, and uh, I'm glad the set went well, and you enjoyed your time at Bloodstock. Get a regresar. I want to come back. <laughs>